This is the lovely little village of Loft House in the Nid Valley. And we're just going to ride into Loft House and I'm going to take a right by the Crown Pub. And we're going to go right over the tops and drop down to Leighton Reservoir. And it's a spectacular ride, so if you're in this neck of the woods, you just need to come out of Pateley Bridge. If you come out of the car park there, when you come out of the car park, turn left, go over the bridge, and then take your next right on Low Wath Road, just before the filling station, and follow that road along the banks of Gowthwaite Reservoir. You'll pass through a little village called Ramsgill. And then you'll come to this little spot, Loft House. And I haven't done this ride over the tops for a while, so I thought I'd share it with you. So, uh, yeah, let's go take in some spectacular scenery. So, here's the Crown Pub. Feetstone's beer, Feetstone's from Masson, which is the other side of this uh, mountain. No, it's not quite a mountain. thing I would say about this uh, V4 engine, 1300cc V4 inline V4 engine on these bikes is they don't uh, rev up, they spool up like a jet engine, that's what they sound like, they're nothing like an inline 4 they feel far stronger and have a lot more basso profundo than an inline four. Inline fours can be a little bit buzzy at times, which uh, this engine most certainly is not.
You know, you should never take a beautiful place like this for granted. Just have a look around. Beautiful, and apart from the odd car, tranquil. Right here up on the tops between Lofthouse and Massum, basically. In the heart of the Nid Valley in the Yorkshire Dales. My homeland. And uh, yeah, we should never take it for granted, but uh, let me tell you, if you're a citizen of these isles, this is your birthright and nobody has got any right whatsoever to prevent or make difficult your access. But there are those who would have it so for reasons entirely detached from the greater human good. Yeah, and if the uh, madness of clean air zones pans out on the back of local political agendas and the uh, ambitions of the political classes, you could find it very difficult to get here on or in any vehicle. It's not for anybody, you know, to, um, to decide if, uh, if you bought yourself a vehicle, bought yourself a motorcycle, if you've taxed it, if you've put it through an MOT if it needs one in this country, if you'd insured it, then you have every right to come somewhere like this. And nobody has any right whatsoever to throw restrictive chains around where you live and make it prohibitively expensive to get out and to get here for some therapy. But uh, it's not unreasonable to assume that before too long, regardless of what vehicle you have, with the possible exception of electric vehicles and electric bikes, you'll find it now and impossible to come here using that transport. And since you're not going to get here by public transport, not in a million years, that's an end to your uh, enjoyment of your birthright. And yeah, you need no other qualification whatsoever than to be a citizen of these lands. Just remember, these, these lands and the freedom to come here were fought for. People gave their lives for our ability to come out here. And it's absolutely heartbreaking to think that for no other reason than the advancement of a personal political agenda that moves are afoot, not just in London, but in other parts of the country. But landscapes like this, in a way, reassure you that there's, uh, there's an underlying truth and beauty and goodness and righteousness in the world that's uh, a universe apart from the small-minded attitudes of legislators and it's me speaking as a retired copper 30 years of enforcing the law and uh, now there are many aspects of the law that i come to despise and more so the way that some people choose in which to implement and interpret it and create it from time to time it's not right that this should be at any sort of risk in terms of our access to it is not right. But the arc of history, certainly in recent times, should tell us that all things are possible because it pays not just to look at isolated events in history and recent history, it pays to look at the trajectory of history, its vector, where it's going and at what pace. And looking around me, I see absolutely no reason for not being anxious about the future of these opportunities. We can only hope 
but with hope must come determination. A determination to fight and a determination to resist unfair and disproportionate measures that impact on our freedom. There's Leighton Reservoir in the distance. Look at that view. Absolutely stunning. Stay there, little fella. Thank you. Thank you once again for watching. Hope that was of some interest to you.
and uh, if it was please click a like please click a subscribe please feel free to share this video every little helps and if you are feeling particularly generous feel free to uh, click on that uh, thanks icon which will just give me uh, well whatever you put in I get 70% <laughs> But every little helps. Every little helps. So yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, until the next time, of course. But it's really dark now, isn't it? Just let's get out into some daylight. There we go, just coming uh, over Leighton Reservoir here. Yeah, so until the next time, ride safe, be kind, and I'll catch you on the next one. Toodle pip.